MIT engineers have synthesized a super absorbent material that can soak up a record amount of moisture from the air even in desert like conditions. As the material absorbs water vapor, it can swell to make room for more moisture. Even in very dry conditions with 30% relative humidity, the material can pull vapor from the air and hold in the moisture without leaking. The water could then be heated and condensed then collected as ultra pure water. The transparent rubbery material is made from hydrogel, a naturally absorbent material that is also used in disposable diapers. The team enhanced the hydrogel's absorbency by infusing it with lithium chloride, a type of salt that is known to be a powerful desiccant. The researchers found they could infuse the hydrogel with more salt than was possible in previous studies. As a result, they observed that the salt-loaded gel absorbed and retained an unprecedented amount of moisture across a range of humidity levels, including very dry conditions that have limited other material designs. If it can be made quickly and at large scale, the superabsorbent gel could be used as a passive water harvester, particularly in the desert and drought-prone regions where the material could continuously absorb vapor that could then be condensed into drinking water. The researchers also envisioned that the material could be fit onto air conditioning units as an energy-saving dehumidifying element. In MIT's device research lab, researchers are designing novel materials to solve the world's energy and water challenges. In looking for materials that can help to harvest water from the air, the team zeroed in on hydrogels, slippery, stretchy gels that are mostly made from water and a bit of cross-linked polymer. Hydrogels have been used for years as absorbent material in divers because they can swell and soak up a large amount of water when it comes in contact with the material. The researchers dug through the literature and found that others had experimented with mixing hydrogels with various salts. Certain salts, such as the rock salt used to melt ice, are very efficient at absorbing moisture, including water vapor. And the best among them is lithium chloride, a salt that is capable of absorbing over 10 times its own mass in moisture. Left in a pile on its own, lithium chloride could attract vapor from the air, though the moisture would only pull around the salt with no means of retaining the absorbed water. So researchers have attempted to infuse the salt into hydrogel producing a material that could both hold in moisture and swell to accommodate more water. But the MIT team found that others reached a limit to the amount of salt they could load into their gels. The best performing samples to date were hydrogels that were infused with 4 to 6 grams of salt per gram of polymer. These samples absorbed about 1.5 grams of vapor per gram of material in dry conditions of 30% relative humidity. In most studies, researchers had previously synthesized samples by soaking hydrogels in salty water and waiting for the salt to infuse into the gels. Most experiments ended after 24 to 48 hours as researchers found the process was too slow and not very much salt ended up in the gels. When they tested the resulting material's ability to absorb water vapor, the samples soaked up very little as they contained little salt to absorb the moisture in the first place. What would happen if the material synthesis was allowed to go on, say for days and even weeks? Could a hydrogel absorb even more salt if given enough time? For an answer, the MIT team carried out experiments with polyacrylamide, a common hydrogel, and lithium chloride, a superabsorbent salt. After synthesizing tubes of hydrogel through standard mixing methods, the researchers sliced the tubes into thin discs and dropped each disc into a solution of lithium chloride with a different salt concentration. They took the discs out of solution each day to weigh them and determine the amount of salt that had infused into the gels, then returned them to their solutions. In the end, they found that, indeed, given more time, hydrogels took up more salt. After soaking in salty solution for 30 days, 
hydrogels incorporated up to 24 versus the previous record of 6 grams of salt per gram of polymer the team then put various samples of the salt laden gels through absorption tests across a range of humidity conditions they found that the samples could swell and absorb more moisture at all humidity levels without leaking most notably the team reports that at very dry conditions of 30% relative humidity the gels captured a record breaking 1.79 grams of water per gram of material any desert during the night would have that low relative humidity so conceivably this material could generate water in the desert